Hey, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about how you can upgrade your builder grade home without any type of renovation. Now, this video is great if you've just moved into a new build home and you don't know how to personalize it, or maybe you've got an older home that you wanna make over an update, but you don't have the budget to do a grand renovation. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm a mom of three kids who taught herself how to DIY, and I'm here to show you how to make your house beautiful and function great for your family. So we moved into this house about six years ago, and it was just a blank slate. It was a brand new home, but there was nothing interesting about it. And I think the number one thing that we did that really made this space more ours was add a lot of feature walls and paneling. So I think this is just like the most inexpensive and easy way to update your home. There are so many different types of feature walls that you can do, whether you're more modern Modern, in the modern style, you can do a slat wall. So I helped my friend Lena update her living room with a really easy slat wall. And all you need is a brad nailer and a saw. And you know, we just cut all these pieces down to size and then nail them onto the wall. And it made such a cool modern impact. Now, if you're more into like the transitional style, I've added a lot of panel molding throughout my home and actually also my mom's home too. She loves that style. So the wall behind me is also a feature wall that I did in this room. This is a very long living room and I didn't know how to ground the space. And that's why I added this feature wall behind. I would say the hardest part is actually planning out your wall and figuring out what type of style you want because there are so many different types of feature walls. So here behind me, I did this kind of decorative trim work, but I've also done shiplap in the bathroom. I've got a really cool geometric accent wall in my powder room. I really wanted my powder room to be something special because when you walk in, like it's just a blank space and it's such a tiny room, but every single guest that comes to my house uses that space. So I knew I wanted it to be something impactful. If you're thinking of an accent wall, slat walls are definitely a little bit easier because you just have to cut the board straight. Now with these types of um, panel molding or picture frame molding walls, you have to cut on a 45 degree angle, but I promise it's still something that you could do if you're a beginner. Doors are one of the most overlooked feature in any home. There are so many doors in any home, but you'll find that a lot of people don't think to do anything to them. They don't paint them, they don't change the handles, but I'm here to tell you I am a door lover, okay? I have DIYed so many of my doors and they add such a strong impact. Now, especially when you have a small home, if a feature wall isn't really possible just because of the limited space, or maybe you have an open space concept and you don't wanna just have like one feature wall, DIY your doors, paint your doors, change the knobs. It makes such a huge statement. I personally love painting my doors black. I've got quite a few black doors in my home and I've also changed out the hardware because black and gold looks really nice together. But in my upstairs hallway, I actually opted to paint them like this kind of soft blue green because there's no windows in that hallway and I didn't want to paint them black because it would just be like super dark. And it's something I did when I was like seven months pregnant. So it's really easy. You don't even need to take the door off of the hinges if you're just painting them. Just leave them hanging and just paint them. Now for some of my DIY doors that were a bit more fun, I've got the tutorials for those as well, so I will link them below, but it's like a really great project that you could do. I would say it's like intermediate level, so if, you, if you're familiar with power tools a little bit, this could definitely be that kind of project that stretches your tools. One of the easiest ways that you can transform any space is using paint. Now that's so obvious, right? Painting a dark room white really brightens up and opens up the space, but think about painting other things. You can paint your floors. Now, if you have old floors and you hate them and you really want to replace them, but it's just not in the budget. And also it's like an intermediate DIY. Like it's not the easiest thing to like remove tile. Uh, we did this in my niece's bathroom. So I know how hard it is. We had to get like a jackhammer. So what you can do instead is just paint them. It's so easy and inexpensive to paint your floors. Now it might not be something that's going to last you 10 years, but it's going to be a good intermediate solution if you're just saving up to before before you can actually replace your floors. And don't forget the power of paint when you're painting furniture, especially kitchens. I see a lot of people who wanna tear out their kitchen and replace the entire thing. You don't need to do that. Just paint your cabinets. It's so easy to paint your cabinets. You simply have to remove them from the frames. Okay, then you need to sand them really well with like a P60 grit, give them a good prime, and then paint them. And it's not that difficult. Like you could do that over a couple of weekends and it will instantly change the look of your kitchen. And that's a great solution if you're just waiting, you know, you're saving up to do a big renovation or you're just like, that seems like a huge project. Like for me, I would dread doing a kitchen renovation because I have three kids and like just 
where are we gonna cook? Where are we gonna eat, right? Like all that kind of stuff would be so difficult. So if you just want something easy, just remove the doors of your cabinets and paint them. You'll also need to paint like the frame, the edging a bit, but still really easy to do. My brother did this in his home. He had these dark brown cabinets and my sister-in-law hated them. They were just really dark and they made the space look really dark too. So they added this blue color and it's so fun and it really livens up the space. In the same way, you can paint your old furniture. I love getting old furniture and making it my own. I find that furniture can be so expensive. Things like night tables and bookshelves are really, really easy to paint. And you can also add other types of decorative finishing to them. So I got these two nightstands from Marketplace and they were like in good shape. So whenever you're buying any old furniture, make sure like the shape is good. They were in good shape. I like the actual style of them, but I painted them black and I added this doweling feature to the front of them and I think that really modernizes them and makes them look really cool. Did you know that you don't need to rip down tiles like a backsplash or a fireplace or even floors? You can also use peel and stick tiles. I have used peel and stick tiles a few times. I use peel and stick tiles on my mom's fireplace. So before I actually had the time to do like a major renovation, my mom just wanted me to like quickly update the tile because she had this like beige marble and it was just like outdated and it looked kind of yellow. So I just got peel and stick subway tiles. They were so easy. In two hours, I fully transformed the look of her fireplace. And honestly, you can't even tell that there's peel and stick tile because they've even got the grout lines in them. It's really neat. When we moved into this house, we also had this unfinished under the stairs storage area. And I hated going in there because it was like cement flooring, which I guess is kind of standard for like this kind of storage area, but it just felt like cold and icky. So I added peel and stick tiles and I added that two years ago and it still held up. None of the tiles have peeled off or come off off the floor. And it actually looks like a really high end tile. I even placed it like on an angle in this diamond pattern. So I think that like, if you're just looking to replace your floors, but you don't have the budget, use a peel and stick tile. You can stick these tiles directly onto your existing tiles. One thing that will make your home look super basic is builder grade lights. We've all got them in our homes, those boob lights, you hate them, but have you thought about switching them out? Updating your lighting is a huge way to make a big statement in a room, right? When you replace a boob light with something grand, like a chandelier, it totally changes the look in your space. Now we've gone ahead and we've updated almost every single light fixture in our home. It's not that hard, but if you're not comfortable with electrical, just hire an electrician to to come in and change all of them at once. It really helps to set the mood in the space and putting them on a dimmer can also help with that mood lighting, especially when you have company. One of the biggest trends in kitchens right now is brass or polished nickel hardware. So if you've got outdated hardware, just swap it out. It's really, really easy. You can even use the same holes that were there from the old hardware. Just use a screwdriver, remove the actual handle and add the new one on. The same goes for your bathroom vanity. It's the same process to swap out your handles and knobs in your bathroom. You can even make them a little bit fun and spunky, especially in a small space like a bathroom or a laundry room. We've all got that mirror in our bathroom that's just like a boring builder grade mirror. It's just sitting on clips, it's glued to the wall. Did you know it's actually really easy to remove it? I've removed several of these mirrors and yeah, honestly, when we take them off, I'm a little bit nervous, but tape them up really well, you know, in a cross pattern and you can pry them off your wall and hang a new mirror. Now, if you're too nervous to do that, you can simply add trim to the outside of your existing mirror. Just use a strong construction adhesive and stick that right on. I've done that upstairs in my master vanity where the mirror is extremely long and I'm just like, Okay, this mirror, I'm not ready to replace yet. If you've got old carpeting, consider renting a carpet cleaner to really clean them up. Now, this is an inexpensive tool that you can get from any hardware store. Rent it for an afternoon, clean your carpets really well. Now, after you've cleaned them, if you're still like, I don't love these carpets, get a rug, okay? Rugs are an easy way to kind of cover up any old or ugly flooring. So let's say like, it's just not in the budget or like kind of replacing carpets can be a big job because you have to like, like take all the furniture out of the room, just get a really nice rug and that will help ground the space. It adds coziness and it covers up any ugly carpeting you don't like. I hope this video gave you a ton of ideas on what you can do to upgrade your home without any remodeling. Listen, I know we're all like on a tight budget, so it's great to do any type of project that's gonna make you fall in love with your home more, but it doesn't require a major renovation. Plus, not to mention like, 
how messy and dirty your house becomes when you do a major renovation, right? So if you love this video, make sure you give my channel a subscribe. Let me know what you thought of these ideas. Have you done any of them? Maybe you'll try them now. And I'll see you next time. We'll do more budget DIYs.